Joining us now is Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace of South Carolina. Congresswoman, thanks for joining us. You're a brand new member of Congress. You didn't uh, oppose any of these electoral counts. You said you weren't happy with the result of the election, uh, as I imagine many Republicans at the time weren't. But let me ask you this. What happened, the, the decision by so many of your colleagues to vote to essentially overturn those election results, um, how uncomfortable are you with that decision? Very uncomfortable, and particularly after what happened yesterday. The violence, this was not a protest. These were rioters. This was an angry mob. Uh, this was anarchy that we saw yesterday. And right beside the chamber doors where we entered to go and vote and, and debate the issues of the day was where that young woman was, was shot and killed earlier in the day. And uh, I, I'm shocked that we had to continue to object. Uh, there's no way. Everyone knew going into the chamber that it was a futile attempt. Uh, that the outcome was not, we weren't going to be able to overturn the results of the Electoral College, and there's no way in hell that you can uh, adjudicate, investigate, or uh, really present evidence of voter fraud anywhere in an hour-long debate on the floor of the U.S. House, uh, particularly during a ceremonial vote to certify the Electoral College. And uh, the American people, millions of Americans were, were lied to about this. They were told that the vice president could overturn the results of the Electoral College. Also false. I do praise Vice President Mike Pence for standing up and, and ensuring that, that people knew that that just simply wasn't true. And uh, I, hold, I, I hold all those who have used uh, this kind of divisive rhetoric over the last couple of days leading up to this, I hold them accountable for what happened yesterday. Um, I had my kids up here this weekend for my swearing in. And uh, by Sunday night, I said, kids, I love you, but you're going home. And I'm putting you on the first flight home on Monday morning, which I did, because I was unsure. I felt unsafe and uncomfortable about what things were being said on social media and online, the attacks that were happening all over this January 6th vote. Boat. But I sent my children home because I was, I was worried for them and their safety, and thank God I did. Well, you saw it coming. Congresswoman, uh, the president incited <laughs> this violence. Your colleague, Congressman Adam Kingsinger, is calling for the 25th Amendment. He says he would even support mm -hmm. impeachment if it would result in conviction. Where do you stand? I'm about 100 hours into my first term in Congress. I'm working on about two hours of sleep right now. Um, everything that I said I would do as a congresswoman would be to abide by the Constitution, regardless of whether or not I liked or wanted uh, that kind of outcome. I will look at anything presented to me. I will look at the facts presented. I will look at the Constitution and make that determination. I do think we need to be careful when we're discussing the 25th mm -hmm. Amendment. Uh, that is more for incapacitated or, or an illness, from what I understand. But I have not had time to, to read it or lay it out and see it word for word and, and what that meaning is and how it would be, a, would be applied at this juncture. Um, I am devastated. I woke up in tears this morning when I saw the footage in the press of everything that went on and transpired yesterday afternoon and last night. My kids are still texting and calling me every hour today, asking if there are protesters around still and if mommy's safe. Do you and, think the president uh, we've got a, a lot of work to do. Do you think the president is a danger to you, a danger to your colleagues, a danger to your country, this country? The rhetoric is a danger to our nation. It's a danger to our party. It's a danger to our citizens. I think we need to be, we need to be ensured that all of us are condemning it. Um, we cannot put up with this anymore. Enough is enough. Um, I, I, I don't care if I am reelected again right now. My kids and my country are worth saving. We're a republic. We need to respect the Constitution, the rule of law. And uh, we can't lie to the American people. And that's what's been going on for the last few weeks. I'm disgusted by it. Hearts and minds and wallets of voters have been taken advantage of. And enough is enough. I'm sick and tired of it. Congresswoman, can you explain how, after everything that happened yesterday, there were 120 House Republican members who still went ahead with their objections. Um, didn't that, you know, did you find that surprising? And has I the Georgia vote? I did find it surprising. Yeah. Just finish yeah, your thought Yeah, I mean, about 40% 40 40 of the Republicans uh, voted to certify the Electoral College, and then the others did not. After what transpired yesterday, I was really disappointed in overall the, the outcome of continuing to object. Uh, the Constitution does not allow us to investigate uh, any allegations of voter fraud in, this, in a vote to certify the Electoral College. Uh, and so um, it was a futile attempt, and I think the timing was wrong. It was not the time and place to have these debates and these discussions, particularly at four, after four people died last night. One of those right next door to the chamber, we were having those exact debates and objections last night. And just very briefly, do you think that the Georgia vote 
will show or prove to some others in the Senate and the House that the president is not such a political power, that his, his power is indeed waning. We, we lost the Georgia Senate because of this rhetoric that's coming out of the, the far right. Uh, when we tell voters to stay home, that their vote doesn't count or the election is rigged, guess what? They stay home and they don't vote. Congresswoman Nancy Mace, a brand new member of Congress from the Charleston, South Carolina area. Congresswoman, thank you for coming on and sharing your perspective with us.